and welcome to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys we're going to be discussing Barcelona's first leg against Manchester United in this video and I have to say here first and foremost for a start on the performance of course there is a lot to discuss but I want to lay down the bottom line here which is we have beaten Manchester United at Old Trafford coincidentally the first time in our history that we've actually done that tonight and ultimately we have got the win with an away goal and we didn't concede in this game heading into that second leg going back to the camp now we have a lead, we haven't conceded, we are still here in control of this tie. The only reason that we're going to go more into this game and really analyse that performance is, is because we expect the best. We expect Barcelona to come out, to put on a show, to perform at the highest level and ultimately tonight, it didn't really happen that way. Barcelona were far, far from their best tonight. It's not a case of Barca weren't at their best. Barca were nowhere near their best. I can't stress that enough tonight. Barcelona I would say were in about second gear. I don't know why that was. I thought we came out, we started the game well, we seemed to dominate possession, we looked calm, we looked assured, we scored our goal, but then suddenly it was all retreating, we were nervy in possession, it didn't seem to flow for us at all, and I think that's a real issue. Going into that second leg, we have to get that right, we've got to learn from our mistakes here, but the most important thing is, we have now got that second leg, not to turn anything around, because we're not behind. We are still in control, we've won here tonight, a goal to nil. Barcelona are still in the ascendancy. And if we first of all take a look how Ernesto Valverde set up in this game, and I have to say it was very much as we expected in the build-up to this game. It was always about Roberto or Semedo. Valverde in the end went for Semedo here at right back. And I have to say, I thought he had a very, very good game on that right-hand side. United tried to cause a number of problems. They switched wings with their players. They were trying to cause Semedo as much problems as they could. But he did well defensively and also, going forward, we didn't have an awful lot tonight. We didn't create an awful lot but he was trying to do that, no doubt about it. Alba on the other side as well was certainly kept busy. Longley and Gerard Piquet, I thought that was the big thing tonight. It was this area here, Ter Stegen into Longley into Gerard Piquet, and our play at the back, it didn't happen. You know with Barcelona, that's where the play starts, that's where they originate from, and you've got to credit to United, they did press us, they had a very high press, they stuck to that for the entire 90 minutes, but at the same time, usually, we can navigate it around that. Longley was getting the ball, and quite often, we were actually dawdling on the ball, we were losing possession, we were giving away stray balls. Sergio Busquets, I think, tonight, the very first time ever in this kind of game, you'd say Sergio Busquets Busquets wasn't really at his best. You don't often say that. Picked up an early yellow. He seemed a bit rattled by that. He seemed a bit nervy in his challenges. I think Arthur Mello, the reason he actually went off, I don't really understand because a lot of the times we were trying to play out with Longley, we were trying to play out with PK. Arthur Mello was here offering himself the ball. He wanted to take it on. He wanted to try and drive there through United's midfield. But a lot of the time, Longley didn't want to give it to him. He'd either go long there towards Suarez, who was far, far too isolated. More often than not, Suarez there was battling Smalling and Lindelof all on his own. And he was getting bullied there by the United defence because he was so isolated. And that's what I don't really understand tonight, why Coutinho was in this sort of role. I think Valverde tried to play an attacking team, but he didn't really have the system to match that tonight, simply because throughout most of the game, we didn't really have the ball in the United half. They didn't really territorially dominate the game there in their final third. And I think certainly we didn't get close enough to Suarez. Coutinho was sort of between the lines. He was neither here or there. He wasn't close enough to support Suarez as an attacking threat, but also he wasn't really adding anything from midfield. And that's not really a criticism of Coutinho himself. I thought, you know, tonight he was okay, he was decent, he had a chance saved by De Gea that he could have really had a goal from if it wasn't for a fantastic save from De Gea. But Coutinho really, in that kind of role, it wasn't really doing anything there with Valverde's setup. And I think that's why it was always really Valverde's plan to go to a 4-4-2. And I think really, we should have seen that from the start. If Valverde wanted to play that kind of game, we can do that. We saw that against Real Betis, those kind of displays. It can work. Why didn't we just see it from the get-go? Because clearly, that was always really the plan to sort of revert to that shape, drop back here, play a bit defensive sometimes, really leave Suarez and Messi isolated. That seemed to be always the way we were going. But look, at the end of the day, we came out and I thought we were actually fantastic. In the opening exchanges, and the game started, we looked in control, we looked calm, we looked composed. We looked like we were a team here arriving and we were just going to wipe the floor with United. We were dominating possession. They didn't even touch the ball for the first two or three minutes. We were dominating the ball also in their own half. That was the most important thing. We weren't just playing it along the back. We weren't just playing it back to Ter Stegen. We were having it in their half. We were looking to penetrate down the left-hand side with Alba. Coutinho was dropping inside. And of course, the goal was absolutely brilliant. Busquets picks the ball up in a deeper position. He sees 
is the run of Messi. It's a brilliant run by Lionel Messi. The touch actually goes away from him, but he corrects that really well. He sees Suarez at the back post. He puts a brilliant ball, perfectly weighted, onto the head there of Luis Suarez. There's no suspicion of offside. I've no idea why the linesman puts his flag up to disallow it, because it was never, ever going to be offside. Suarez, I think, is actually trying to head the ball back towards Coutinho, who would have had an easy tapping. We've seen Suarez do that before with Coutinho. It would have been an easy goal, but it actually comes off the shoulder there of Luke Shaw. It's an own goal, and it's a massive, massive away goal in a game like this. Whatever happens, whatever performance we put in tonight, the important thing we have to take from it, we have an away goal. We have something there, not to fall back on, but just to support us in that second leg at the camp now, which we earned there. We started well, but after that goal, we kind of fell away. I think United, at that point, maybe they felt as though they conceded, so they had nothing to lose, so they certainly went for the game. And I have to say, once again, United did play well in the way they played. They had that high press, they stuck to it, they had tremendous energy. I think Solskjaer's setup tonight was actually very good. The players, they had it on the pitch. I didn't really originally think they caused us that many problems, but at the same time, in that midfield, they had a lot of fluency, they had a lot of pace. That caused us problems, particularly with Busquets picking up that early yellow card. Didn't help us at all. And certainly long balls into the box, they had a lot of crosses, they had some free kicks as well, corners. But I have to say here, United, for everything they threw at us, for the fact, yes, we were sitting back, we were absorbing far, far too many occasions, we let United come onto us, which we cannot do in these kind of games. But all that said and done, United tonight, zero shots on goal. Marc-Andre Ter Stegen, he had a few punches, he had a few catches, but he didn't have a single save to make right throughout this entire game. We didn't allow one single shot on target. So yes, United were coming forward, they had long-range shots, they had crosses into the box, they did threaten us, there's no doubt about that, and we didn't play well. But we still stopped them having any attempts on goal. We still shut the door on them when it really, really mattered. PK tonight was fantastic once again, leading that defence. There was a fantastic last-ditch block on Anthony Martial during the second half. Really, really big moment. Fantastic from him. And I think overall here, guys, you have to put into some perspective how difficult it is to go away from home in these kind of Champions League games, even though United are sick. Yes, we expected to go there today and for it to maybe be a bit more comfortable, but it wasn't. United really stepped up. You have to say they raised their level, they raised their game on the night in front of their own fans, as can happen. And that's the way it is. So difficult to get these away results. You look at Manchester City. You look at last night against Tottenham. They lost the game. They were nowhere near them true selves. They didn't play well. Even Pat Guardiola as a coach, you know that his record away from home in the Champions League is not good. It's very, very difficult to go away and get wins. Even Barcelona, we don't win away from home in the Champions League knockout stages that often because of how hard it is. The psychological advantage there for the home side. Now, yes, in the last round, we saw a few teams go away from home. They got comebacks. That could happen again, but we won't let it. What we know is now, we can't take our foot off the gas. It's not like PSG here who came to Man United. They won 2-0. They thought they'd won the game. They took the foot off the gas and United punished them. We won't do that. We know here the game is still wide open. United are very much in this match. They'll come to the camp now with a lot of belief. I'm sure we'll hear a lot of talk before that game and we'll accept that because we've allowed them to be in the game. But I can tell you now, at the camp now, it has to be different. We will not play like that again because I don't think we can. I don't think you'll see a performance there as bad as that, as nervy as that, as poor in possession as that from Barcelona again and simply because we cannot allow that. At the camp now, a bigger pitch, a wider pitch, more space. United will have to seriously think about their setup. Luke Shaw is suspended for that game. That'll be a big, big absentee there at left back for them. And I guarantee you, in that game, we will have to step up. We put ourselves now in this position. We've allowed United into the game, but we have our win. A goal to nil tonight, a big, big advantage in many ways. We'll go to the camp now. We will see the real Barcelona. I guarantee you. But I think just looking there at that second half, the way that Valverde did try to change the game brought on Arturo Vidal, I think we all saw that one coming. He also brought on Sergio Roberto in a more attack-minded position, not as a right-back, more of as an advancing midfielder. And straight away when he came on, he made a great run into the box, very nearly ended up either with a goal or with a penalty, but it didn't quite work out. But we were just trying, I think, to get more players closer to Suarez, closer to Messi. And I think on Messi tonight, obviously, he had a very quiet game, but you can't really underestimate that whack that he got in the first half from Chris Smalling. Blood coming through his nose. There's reports, actually, that he's done some serious damage there. There to his nose and obviously it's going to be very very uncomfortable that's going to affect your head the way your mind works it is difficult to play under those circumstances and the message tonight could be sort of afforded a bit of a night off simply because he really did get a whack there from Chris Smalling in that first half but Vidal came on trying to give us some energy I think actually Vidal when he came on he was probably a bit over the top he was flying into tackles particularly at the end there he was lunging at the end you know inside the penalty area a bit worried there that he was going to give something away but he was certainly brought on to try and give us some energy and I think Sergio Roberto changed down this right hand side worked really well he combined with Semedo I thought like 
like I say, played very well. But I would just question here, should we have brought on Malcolm? Should we have brought on Dembele? Now, I think Valverde here decided not to. He didn't want to risk Dembele. He didn't want to bring on Malcolm. I think he could have done that. I think you could have certainly hurt Manchester United tonight with Dembele or with Malcolm. But I'm willing to say whatever. Valverde here has made his decision. He's not gone with it. So now what you have to do is you've got to show at the camp now that what you did was right. All you have to do now is back up your decision. If we go back to the camp now, we beat United on the night. We put on a show. We put on a performance. We put them to the sword. Valverde here will be fine. No problems whatsoever. But he has to justify tonight why he didn't bring those players on. We got our result. We played for the 1-0. We got it. Now to the second leg where we have to step up. So please leave all your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Like I say, so much more coming up on this game. There's a lot to discuss, a lot to dissect before that second leg that's going to be going on next week. Let me know in the comments down below what you felt from the performance tonight. I'll see you soon. But until then, as always, Vizca El Barca. <laughs>